you know this video is reminding me something about something like uh crying secretly and all those things someone is crying secretly and i'm gonna explain i remember as a child you know as we're growing up i don't know maybe you also can relate sometimes when you will see someone riding a bicycle and they are you can tell that they're overexcited that ooh, they're screaming normally once we see somebody like that we knew what would come after we'll be like ah this one is going to fall we're gonna we're gonna wait or we will wait in anticipation that this person they are going to fall and when they do fall we will be happy and laugh somewhere somehow so the thing is even people in your life they are waiting in anticipation and sometimes when they are quiet they are quiet because they are watching you not because they don't care but they care and they are watching you let me tell you that people today like it or not they are looking at you and they are watching you what are they watching or what are they looking at they are anticipating your downfall and when things are still going well don't you think that silence is uh innocent no they are weeping secretly they are crying secretly that is why you will see some people who normally they are in your cycle so much but ask yourself this one question why is it that now when things are good you achieve something extraordinary they are just quiet they don't talk much about it they act like they don't notice listen they are crying secretly but then if something better was to happen it's either they will be the first to console you and ask yourself a question why are they consoling you to start with why are they consoling you while they were not celebrating you listen that consolation comes with excitement don't trust them that but i'm not saying that be angry i'm not saying react you must be like the lord jesus he never pushed anybody away he never cast and say hey, you peter you denied me i don't want to see you anymore now but it is good to know how people think i like the way the bible described the lord jesus they were like he never relied in them he even at times when they started following him following him the more after he had turned uh he had multiplied bread and uh, multiplied fish he was like no you guys you're not following me because of me but it's because of the bread you ate it's because of what i have or what i can do if i couldn't do this you wouldn't follow me that is why in jesus mighty name i pray may the lord shape your heart in this cold world as wicked as people are almost everybody can be an instrument of the enemy but i pray may god help you may he sustain you in jesus mighty name May you not be taken away. May these wolves of the world not take advantage of you. Let God's spirit guide you always. And if you are wicked at some point, may God help you to repent and enable you to be righteous through Christ Jesus, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.